take us through the, the mindset year one going into the degree and, and getting that sort of experience? No, I think it was just more of that uh, one of the uni courses remember the time was just um, not sure exactly what it was, but it was just one of those units where you have to complete work experience and online that I came up with um, the under 16s and it just started from there, mate, to be honest. And Western Jets are an affiliation of, um, in, uh, what was it, Exile Science Uni course. Um, over there at, um, who was it now? Uh, got the touch to be a mind blank, to be honest. Um, from there, yeah, it just sort of just started and really got, I guess, in touch in the third year with one of the coaches who moved from Stingrays to the Sandy Zebras and really looked like giving that opportunity to try, um, the VFL. So, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty, one of those things if it's, um, you it started while doing education, but obviously a network there that got me through to work in the VFL. You mentioned you, you got into uni degree a little bit later than, than uh, some others that go straight from high school. Were you doing personal training? Uh, take us through what you were doing the, the years after high school. Yeah, um, I, 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 um, just, just a bit of here, a bit of there. Um, my old man was into um, the alcohol industry, so I was doing a bit of bottle shop running and working in that sector, and mate, not too much. Started off doing a little bit of construction. Um, yeah, literally fell into PT and started training myself, and, and just, yeah, just said to the missus, who is a, a good woman of mine, she uh, pushed me into university, and, and it literally just started off that. There was, there was nothing, um, wasn't really a good sportsman, and it's just one of, one of those things where it's just gone, well, I wouldn't mind training um, an athletic population. So, that was yep. pretty much it, mate. There wasn't um, no mentor or no person, personal individual that sort of pushed me along that pathway. Um, yeah, a little bit different compared to uh, other journeys of other people. For those listening, developing S&Cs, how, how important is it getting that experience? You mentioned the networking side with coaches giving you other opportunities. Uh, what other things did you learn and grow from by, by getting your hands dirty? Uh, it, was, it was just more... Um, Progressing, um, the skill set, uh, the knowledge, uh, the experience from, from just like the general population. And, and that's where, um, at that time it was just like, well, how, how do you learn the material? And, and for myself, I like to practice. Um, and I'm not really a good rope learner or, or a book learner. Um, considering as I said, I started university later. So for me, it was trying to understand the content and the knowledge. At university it was just more to somehow apply it in the field, and, and, and that's how simple it was for myself to merge practical experience with gaining knowledge. How did you go with, with sticking fat and, and sticking in the system for that long um, before getting a, a full time contract? Take us through the effort for developing S and Cs. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's difficult to really explain um, in its entirety. Like, um, being mature, I just sort of knew what I wanted. Um, although, as you know, it can be quite demanding being a, a nighttime program. And, um, I, guess, I guess I was just lucky enough to have support from um, my wife now at the time, and, and I had no pressure to um, sort of shy away from the vehicle. So I, I really enjoyed it. I was in, engaged with it. Um, I was passionate about it. But when you think you have those qualities and you're attached to it, it's just sort of like second nature. So that was my personal feeling. So, and as I said, like, I was there for seven years, but I sort of tried a new thing every year. Take us through how that process would come about, with, you know, around the October, November period. Are you doing, are you calling people and, and reading about, how, how would you go about, okay, they are, well, this, is the, this is the new methodology I'm going to feed into my philosophy with, with the program next year. How, how would that come about? Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, originally you just sort of, as you, as you know, you just sort of learn the cap. You, you try the basic things that you see from other AFL environments or you try yourself in the and, um, so you start off pretty basic and then you just, you, after, after a year, you're like, oh, hang on a minute, that, that, that's probably, you could have done that better or, or that might have worked. And, and it just rolled with the time. So, um, one year, um, I was looking at doing a, um, say a, a training study. Including the 315 and really got into, into that and, and was lucky enough to, um, study hard on it and, and get the audio tapes and, and just trial that from the start and, and when, 
on the goal. So you're not going to do it um, properly. Well, there's no point. So um, just just hold it, mate, and, and off we went with that. And, and obviously went really, really gung ho and, and trying to do it properly. And from there, you learn what's good and, and what's not, and, and how does it be implemented within the total. You mentioned the engagement, Mike, um, being able to talk their language when, you know, like you said, athletes don't want to be in rehab, so it can be challenging to get build that trust, um, but it's critical and, and it's really important. So ha- how do you go about doing that when an athlete is really down and flat? What are some ways that you do to, to try and shift them, I guess? Yeah, well, it, 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 that's a tough one because, as I said, uh, most, most people in two stages, most, uh, every athlete in pain, um, they're connecting with the ailment or the injury, whether it's tissues or joint. So it's more of like sitting down, I get engaged with them, we write down goals, we get specific, we get specific in terms of what we want to develop, and it just starts from there. Um, and so in terms of goal setting, practice, because at the end of the day, I think the rehab program theirs. So. I want to make sure that they have some ownership and they master what they want to do in the next four to five to six weeks. 